James flicked outside to Jamesy. Jamesy has the legs of Michael Doyle. Jamesy on the far side turns onto his left hand, drains his ball inside to go to Pat Slattery. Pat Slattery drives it clear over the sideline. It's a line ball. And the rain is pelting down now in earnest. Banner going across to take it. We've played 12 and a half minutes in the first half. This line ball about 48 meters out. Colin Banner cuts it low along the ground. Eddie Dixon, the West Final. Three's brother Karma. Karma turns inside Michael Doyle and left handed puts it to the left. It's gone wide. Three points each. Ramey Ryan looking for attention there. And Angus Ryan, the selector, is on the field with Brendan Bonner. Ramey is okay, declared fit by Angus, and there's a puck out for Pat Slattery. Down the right, batted away by Tony Slattery to Declan Carr, who waited very well for the break. Outside to Paul Maher, Paul Lowe, inside to the other Paul, Paul Slattery. Paul with Joe Malogue in close to and Paul has a shot right inside to John Ryan, the goalkeeper. John showing wonderful confidence in this game and left-handed. Outside to Willie Fitzell, Willie down to Joe Minogue. And it's now Tom Bonner with Declan Carr. Declan kicks it inside to Joe Mano. Stalemate there, but it's Stephen Devon breaks the stalemate. And Stephen has a shot that's gone over the bar. A wonderful point for Stephen Devon. Another point, number two for Stephen Devon, the centre forward. Scored 1 9 in the semi final victory over Kilrowan and has two to his credit already in this game. Declan Carr racing to this one. Declan left-handed, drops it to the left, and it's gone wide. <laughs> Semple Stadium getting very dark, and visibility is quite poor now, as the ball is popped out again to Connell Bonner. Colin inside to Phil Cal only, to Tommy Grogan, overruns it, Johnny Doyle stands on North Stanley, drives it clear, out to the left to Tonto, Tonto is on a run, challenge now, and pops it back inside as far as Mikey Doyle, Mikey Doyle a poor ball, finds Willie Fitzell, Willie hands it out to Ramey Ryan with some room, Ramey, low inside to his corner forward, James Dunno turns Rory one beautifully, is still going through, is challenged, by Rory, has room, hands it out to Tommy Grogan, and Tommy drops it to the right, and it's gone wide. Monaston, a Christian A for Kera Colleen. Cashel, Ree Cormie, three Colleen. Colleen a one, it and a four in there. Pat Slattery, batter down to Willie Fitzell and Stephen the one. Fitzell, only as far as Declan Carr. Declan out to the left for to looking for Tony Lanigan, but that's gone too far. It's gone over the line. A line ball and right corner back, TJ Connolly. It's really a deluge here now in Semper Stadium. Remy Ryan going right through, hands it out beautifully to James Dunno. James Dunno puts it across the goal mouth. Controlled beautifully there by Ed Slattery and driven clear. Tony Slattery and Paul Maher. Paul breaks to Paul Slattery. Paul inside to Paul Maher again. And Paul going right through. Paddy Kenny has great hope for this one. Paul Maher still going through. Challenged by Tony Slattery. Hooked brilliantly by Slattery. Ball out as far as Joe Mano. Now it's Stephen the one. Stephen controls it. And left hand right across the field. Dangerous ball. Colin Bonner outside to his brother Colin. And Colum drives it clear. Up to Ravy Ryan and Phil Dwyer. Now it's Jamesy Dunho and Jamesy's been fouled 
and are the free end for the Kings. That was a marvellous run by Paul Maher, but equally marvellous defensive work by Tony Slattery. Tommy Grogan would appear to be hitting this one into the wind and into the rain. And there are 17 minutes gone in the first half. A little exchange there between Tom O'Connor and Michael Dial as Tommy drives it right inside. Dangerous ball, John Grogan one-handed. It's held brilliantly by Johnny Dial and a free out for Johnny Dial. And that little exchange between Michael Dial and Tom O'Connor isn't finished yet. Johnny Doyle feeling his head there, must have had a stroke and a drop of that ball. But there's a free out and goalkeeper Pat Slattery is the one to take it. Colin Banner, playing better than anyone I think at the moment. To Connell Banner, left-handed. To Tommy Grogan, Tommy, not a good ball. Only to Johnny Doyle and Johnny's upended again. And there's a free again for the Holy Cross man. Conditions are atrocious as Michael Doyle steps up to strike the free. Strikes it down the left. Colonel Bonner out there only as far as Paddy Dewan. And Colin Bonner is fouled by Declan Carr. And there's a free for Cashel King Cormac. Banner to the left, looking for Albion's brother. Johnny Doyle, flicked inside by Tommy Grogan to fill the wire. It's taken away by Phil down the centre to Pedro Lanigan, beaten by Willie Fitzell. Willie dropped it right inside to John Grogan. John hooshed off the ball. Phil the wire's on the ground, but it's Rory the one who is fouled. And another free for Holy Cross. It's blowing a gale and it's raining down in torrents as Michael Doyle belts it clear down the centre. Pat Donahoe flicks it out only as far as Stephen Dewan. Stephen challenged by Fitzell. Stephen gets right across and TJ Connolly cuts it out. Up the right, Declan Carr gone across to Mark Colin Bonner. Declan's on the ground, is fouled there by Ramey Ryan and there's a free for Holy Cross Valley Cal. Declan Carr wiping the rain off his stick, dropping it short. Dangerous ball right inside. Patono to Robert Declan. This could be a goal. No, it's clear there, almost clear. Fitzell coming out. Fitzell, a shot cleans. Now it's Tony Slattery. Tony looking for room to swing his stick. Tony's hooshed off the ball. Kicks it clear out to Willie Fitzell. Willie challenged by Paddy Dewan. Willie inside to Tom Bonner, adds to it, to Ramey Ryan. Ramey playing very well in this game. Ramey, great ball, switches direction beautifully. Up to the left, Phil Cahill cuts it out. And he's hooshed off the ball by A.B. Bonner. A.B. is going through. A.B. is still going through. Hand it right across to Tommy Grogan. Tommy looking for room. Low and hard and it's the goal. Marvellous goal by Tommy Grogan. But the referee has whistled up play, and it won't count. It's a free end. Elby Banner did some marvellous work on the left wing. Flicked it across to Tommy Grogan. Tommy shrugged off a very heavy tackle and planted it in the back of the net. But the referee had blown his whistle. Tommy is free. He's gone over the bar. After 21 minutes of play, four points each. That was a splendid goal there by Tommy Grogan, and he'll be very disappointed, no doubt, that it doesn't count. Pat Slattery cuts it out. Colin Bonner rising for it. Breaks to his brother, Connell. Connell. A great ball by Connell again, playing Tommy Grogan, playing the wind. Tommy inside, looking for his brother John.
John flips it inside, only to Phil Cahill. Phil Cahill coming out of the fence. Phil is pushed off the ball by Cormac Bonner. But he flicks it clear. Pulled on by Ramey Ryan. Ramey inside to James E. Donahue's corner. Very busy, a great ball inside to Cormac Bonner. Cormac is on the run. Cormac still going through. Outside to Jamesy. This might be a goal. Jamesy puts it to the left and it's gone wide. A great saving tackle there by Rory Dwan. Prevented what might have been a goal. Four points each. 23 minutes into the first half. And we told you it was going to be tight. And tight it is. At Fitzell, rising. And it's Colin Bonner, the man of this match so far. Declan Carr, challenged by Willie Fitzell. Gets in his turns, Tony Slattery. And it's the line ball to the King Carmack stands. From here it looked like it went off Tony's stick, but the linesman was nearer than I am, and Willie Fitzell will be grateful for this line ball. Willie cuts it low, only as far as Padjo Lanigan, Padjo off the stick, inside to Robert Stakem, Pat Tunnel out to the right, a race between Connell Bonner and Paddy Luan, the one on the ground, Bonner clears it, up the centre, Johnny Doyle racing, little great work by Johnny Doyle, marvellous clearance by Johnny, down the centre, Flick to Pat Fitzell, Pat overruns it, pulled on by Pat Donahoe, out to the left, Willie Fitzell going back, is on the ground, is fouled by Paul Maher. Rather unlucky there, no malice intended, but there's a free there for Willie Fitzell and the King Cormacs. A marvellous contest here in this county final. The first 25 minutes have been tit for tat. Four points each. Tony Slattery driving up the left. Elby Bonner can't hold it. Declan Carr low into his forwards. It's now Tony Lanigan on a run. Leaves the ball behind him. Pulled up by Connell Bonner. Out to Robert Statham with some room. Turns inside a heavy tackle by Colin Bonner. A very heavy tackle. He'll have his name in the book for that one. Referee Willie Barrett. And again, I don't think there was any malice intended, but Colin will have his name in the book for that heavy challenge on Robert Stakelam. Robert, on his feet, awarded a free from about 42 metres out. Acknowledges the apology there from Colin Bonner as Stephen Dewan attempts to edge Holy Cross into the lead again after 26 minutes of play. Lifts it, strikes it, it's gone over the bar. Hook out for John Ryan, the cash and goalie. Five points to four. And I imagine Holy Cross has played with the aid of the breeze slightly. Ball now with Connell Bonner is hooked there. And it's now Colin Bonner again. Puts this one over the line on the far side. And the line ball to the mid temporary champions. Michael Doyle, the centre half, is gone across to take it. Man of the match in last year's county final. Cuts it very well, down the centre, Fitzell rising. Doesn't hold it, Stephen the one. Trying to shake off TJ Conley. He does so and puts this one over the bar. Another point for Stephen the one. After 27 minutes of play, points for the centre forward, proving a handful for centre half Pat Fitzell, a poor puck out by John Ryan to Willie Fitzell, Willie pucks it right across the field looking for Ramey Ryan, Ramey controls it beautifully, turns fill the wire, 
under Ardani Rain is blocked down and the ball's gone over the sideline and there will be a line ball for the King Cormacs. I make it two and a half minutes to half time and they'll be glad of a break after having played in conditions that were very poor. Cormac Bonner right inside. John Grogan beaten by Tom Dwyer. Tom Dwyer kicks it clear. Out to Padre Lanigan and Colin Bonner. Padre is hooked by Bonner. Ball now with Ramey Ryan. Ramey along the ground. Inside to James Dunno and Rory Dwan. And that's proving to be a very lively contest over there. It's Paddy Dwan. Is fouled there and there will be a free out for Holy Cross. For six points to four. Two minutes left to half time. Michael Doyle down the left wing. Down to Paul Slattery. Now playing at left corner. Joe Minogue has gone across with him to mark him. It's Joe Minogue pulls in that ball. Finds Pedro Lanigan all alone. Pedro right across the other side of the field. TJ. TJ another marvellous catch by TJ. TJ handed out to Willie Fitzell. Willie Lowe to Cormac Bonner. Cormac controls this one. Back to his brother. Col Colum, Colum drives it right inside. John Grogan beaten by Tom Dwyer. Tom Dwyer is on the ground, is fouled by John Grogan. And John in turn is on the ground. After an exchange there with the fullback, Tom Dwyer. And referee is going to put Dwyer's name in the book. John Grogan. On the deck there after an exchange with the fullback. And getting a little nasty up there. Referee Willie Barrett steps in to cool some frayed tempers. John Grogan back on his feet. Throw in. Rory the one. Kicks it clear. Down to Connell Bonner. Colin to his brother. Carmack. Carmack dropped it shot. Right inside, John Grogan and Tom Dwyer. Tom Dwyer clears it again. Tom Dwyer running to a heavy tackle from James Dunno. Out to the left to his brother Phil. And Phil Dwyer under severe pressure. The casual forwards are certainly applying the pressure. Referee calls for the ball. It's half time in Central Stadium. Cashel, six 